We would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land that we record this podcast on and pay respects to the elders past, present and emerging. We must always remember that under the concrete and asphalt that this land is, was and always will be Aboriginal land. Hi, I'm Rumbi. Hi, I'm Amanda. Welcome to It's Layered. In studio. A special edition. <laughs> if you knew Rumi was going to do that. <laughs> Standard operating procedure. <laughs> Where are we, Amanda? Oh my gosh, Rumi, welcome to Melbourne. Thank you. It's been a long time coming and I'm so thrilled to be here. We're so happy that we could be together yeah. and doing it in studio. This is next level crazy. Like, yeah. I'm just like, who are we? Yeah. Where's our little laptop? Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I feel so like, oh my gosh, where's my little Zoom, you know, video? Yeah, press record. Have you pressed record? I'm <laughs> well, we hope they press record and are actually recording because uh, that would be orcs. But no, so excited. I've only been here for about a day. It's still jet lag, but you know how we do. I have to get on the mic. Ready to go, you know, to bring you the goods, the good yeah. goods. So what made you come to Melbourne, Rimby? So, well, okay, do I have to have a reason <laughs> to see you maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, definitely to see you, to spend Christmas with you um, and see Jerome. Yeah. He's such a big boy. I saw him at Christmas last year. Yeah, yeah. So it's so crazy to see how much he's grown. And so we're just so happy to be here with the family and yeah. spend time with you. And then get to do this, like recording in studio, something yeah. we've wanted to do forever, for ages yeah. in person. Yeah. So thank you to the team behind the scenes. Yeah, for, shout out Ben, shout out yeah. for, 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 for getting us together. <laughs> yeah, getting us together. Um, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, I think it's been such a long time since we've done our getting to know us. Yeah. I think season one. Yeah. And now we're in season five That's and crazy. so much growth has happened. Absolutely. You know, we're both married now. I have a kid. Like so many things have happened that yeah. like we thought, why not whoop, rewind and yeah. go back? And also yeah. get better insight into us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. So we're going to start off with a bit of an icebreaker because, you know, mm. we're new to this. You know, we just got nice things today. Okay. And that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing new. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to start with a bit of an icebreaker. Um, we're going to pick a card from this jar over here if you're watching. So Amanda, do the honors. You can Ooh, pick first Lucky one. dip. You know Zimbabweans, we love lucky oh, dips. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Go for it. Am I asking you or am I yes. answering? Ooh, who's the most likely to start a controversial conversation? I think both of us, but I think Amanda more so. Ish. I'm just going to put it out okay. there. Uh, am I right? Am I yeah, I think me. Because yeah. uh, just be like, ah, let me ask. You're not afraid. Yeah. I feel like you're not afraid of going there. So, yeah. Okay. That is quite loud. Who's naughtier? Uh. Just because it's Christmas, we don't have to be asking each other who's naughty, naughty or nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> I would say me. Mm. Tell us why. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, actually. I think it's just you don't give a damn about, yeah. a, about more things than me. Yeah, I think you would probably, you want to be, but you probably overthink it. Yeah. But you're also an overthinker, but I think yeah. being naughty or nice, you're just like, whatever. Yeah. Also, you know, I think my mom not being around helps because there's no one to tell you <laughs> you're doing the wrong wow. thing. Wow. You said <laughs> What are your social media icks? Ooh. Hey, sh- I don't know. Oh, everyone thinking they're an expert. That's Ooh. probably the thing that Go irritates there. me all the time. Like, I'm just like, just because doesn't mean you're all experts. And yeah. also people taking what someone says on social media as the Bible. It's like, do your research, read an article. Go and grab a tree. Yeah. Read a book. Climb a tree. Walk barefoot. <laughs> I don't know. Do something with your life. I don't know. Like, don't get everything yeah. from social media. That's you know awesome. what? I feel you with that. Because a lot of times, obviously now with mumhood, hmm. people be like, oh, I've got the sleeping training schedule. Like, if you do this, your kid will sleep through the night, blah, yeah. blah, blah. You know, then download my help. Like, of course. Uh, girl, like, just tell us the secret. I don't <laughs> yeah. need to be di- downloading oh, a book. Oh, yeah. Or whatever it so is. True. Like, your ebook. I mean... 
I love entrepreneurship, but sometimes the hook, they're just like... They hook you too much, why? bruh. Everything yeah, is, yeah, let yeah, me sell yeah, you. Yeah. Or like when they're like, let me give you tips. And you're like, you actually didn't give me any tips. Like, yeah, please. like this is common knowledge. Yeah, so true, yeah. so true. That's a cool one. Um, what are your fashion icks? Ooh. That's good for you. I think I've already shared on my social media a clip of Rihanna saying when people don't, are not authentic to themselves. Yeah. And I think that one definitely is for me, but also when people are stuck in a rut. Oh, yeah. Or like, as a stylist. But then they don't want to do anything about it. Yeah. So, like, you've already approached me. Yeah. So, I would assume you've already done the like emotional journey mm. of going, okay, I don't want to dress myself. But then you're not quite ready for the change. Like, I'm okay to hold your hand over the line, but I can't convince. You, you. Yeah, yeah. So there's a fine line. Like it's like, okay, why are you here? Yeah. <laughs> if you weren't ready to also like So do you feel like you have step. to be like a therapist? Yeah, 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 yeah. Process. And yeah. it's fine if the person eventually comes around, but then sometimes it's like a lot of back and forth with emailing, especially. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can't charge for that, right? And it's like my time is money at this and your time is also money. So it's also like it's true. okay, you want this done let's or do, do it or do you really or do you it? really yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so that's for cool. me it's quite hard cool. yeah. okay let's see who's most likely to strike up a conversation with a stranger amanda i think this is you like uh, no a have stranger? you met me i can in a situation be sociable but like i like to avoid talking to people in general i don't really like people i don't know if i've talked <laughs> Any people that I don't, I don't like have people, but I love having a podcast talking to people. Yeah, so <laughs> of course that's why you're the one who can strike up a conversation with strangers. I can do it if I need to. I've had to learn how to be sociable. You know you what I mean? Can? But like you've always been. See, I I person. see you as a friend. So for me, it's so hard to see you not striking up. I feel oh. like you do. Like even today when you picked up stuff, you were like, "Hi, hi." I was like, eh, eh, "Okay, she's on it." I'm just being polite. Like oh, I don't ask okay. them about their life. You will ask people. Yeah, about I their will lives. ask about your life. Though. And you're very sociable. Like I even when ask. we're in school, you were very, like she was. She talked to everyone. I'm very much an introvert. I'm like, who are you? I don't need to know you. Like, give me my space. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Okay, sorry, I'm losing track. Are we doing all of these? I don't know. Okay, we can just girl. Two cause... more. Who is gullible? Ish. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fact that you went ish, you knew that would be you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> And y'all, you and my sister actually like to make fun of me, actually, yeah. when because yeah. you know how gullible I am. Yeah. No, and then the, they tag team against the me, guys. The cutest thing is you're also quite confident with it. Like, you're like, did you guys hear this song or this? And we're like, Rumi, that was out a year ago or something. And you're like, oh, I only just heard it. And it's like, where have you been? And the funny thing is you love being like pop culture and all yeah, that. So when you know, find yeah. something that you don't know, I really don't you're know, so hey? cute about yeah. it that it's like, how does she like, yeah. where did this And I'm varward about it. A lot of things yeah, like, yeah, it yeah, really yeah, just yeah. like misses me completely. So, But yeah. it makes you you. Okay, we'll Thank do you. another pair. Okay. I don't even know how much time. Is someone timing us? Because yeah. we could be here forever. Forever. Who's most likely to take off their earrings and grab their Vaseline? <laughs> Is that even a question? Guys, take a guess. <laughs> that would not be me, though. It would not be me. Okay, oh, okay. Me. No, I can't see you I'm doing just that saying. either. Yeah. But having said that, yes, I think if someone pushed you, I would. But I'm not violent. Oh, yeah, I'm not violent either. Yeah, but you I'm you'd not use violent your words. with my... I use my words. Yeah, you'd use your words. Yeah. I think you'd use your words before me. Yeah. I would just be like, <laughs> I don't think that's nice. But I reckon both of us have a huge tolerance. Yeah, but too much. We, like, if you see me going there, then and you are... And for me, I really don't like to be angry. So when you see me angry, it means, like, you've hit... Yeah, 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 you've... The, yeah, 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 that's the people pleaser and that's probably... That's, hey, true. that's some, true. Some therapy is needed. <laughs> they come to book a why, why do we always go back to therapy? I feel like every <laughs> podcast episode goes back to, we should go to therapy. Have we talked about that? This is our therapy, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is therapy thanks for being here in the session with us <laughs> okay um all right so now we're going to get into some other questions um getting to know us still some fun some a little more serious so i'll start with a fun one okay let's go if i randomly showed up at your house at 1 a.m without oh, wow. telling you why what would you immediately assume is going on without telling me why assuming we live together yeah this is long awkward, like it's long yeah I would think something happened with you and Tom. Oh. 
It has to be that Yeah, deep. because I think Tom would never let you leave the house at 1 a.m. He'd be like, where are you, <laughs> where going? Are you going? That's I'll true. I'll come with you. That's true. So if you rocked up alone. Yeah. That actually got at deep 1 a.m. I would think what's happened uh-huh. or what's happened to Tom. It's either yeah. what's happened between you or what's happened to Tom. Okay. Don't you? Yeah, that's what I, I think. I think so. I think it's actually not a fun question now, but... <laughs> Yes. Who put that under fun? I did. I'm like, oh, that's actually deep. Okay. With you, I think for you to be like, we're going out. Yeah. Let's go. Party. Uh, let's go party. Why is that? The kid, baby, sit and locked in. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Turn up. Yeah. Turn up. Yeah. I think that would be you. I just think you would like overthink it. You'd be like, 1 a.m. We're walking up. Why am I doing this? Yeah. And I, then also Tom would also say. be like, where are you Where going? are you going? I, I would definitely overthink it. I'm like, I don't want to wake people up. It's too much. <laughs> You know, type of thing. That's true. That's true. What's one story about us that you're definitely going to tell your kids? Oh, how we thought we were sugar in high school. And then, like, I wrote a song and recorded it. And we're like, let's choreograph. We're going to be in the interactive variety show and show them how it's done. And we didn't show them how it's done. We we blo- no, jealousy, jealousy. People yeah. blocked us yeah, from our really, greatness. They really shut it down. They yeah, shut it down. But I think that's a cute it's such anecdote a cute, of, yeah. like, us being in yeah. What has happened to that song? Ruby needs to release this My song, sister had the, the CD. Somewhere, and every time I listened back to it, I was like, cringe, cringe, cringe. Why? Because you did record it in studio and yeah, yeah, I did it all that. I think, but to be fair, I was like, like, oh, actually, my songwriting skills were not bad. Yeah, like for like a fifteen year old, what, fifteen, sixteen? Um, yeah, maybe one day. Maybe yes, I'll, we need maybe to I'll re-record. Read. You know That'll how these be. artists when they don't have rights to their masters, uh, yeah. then they do a re-record. So I'll do like a re-record. That would be, I think, uh, such a full circle moment. Yeah, to release that song. Ah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Sony, you heard that. Please find it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this is supposed to be a deeper question. What would most people be surprised to learn about you? Yeah. Oh, maybe that I'm very sensitive. Yeah. Very, very hypersensitive. Yeah. More than I like let let on. on. I just keep it inside. So I'm like a duck on water. Yeah. So floating, but then under there, them legs be kicking. Like, what the hell? You know what you say about me? And I like replay conversations in my head. Should I say that? Should I? I remember in high school, because for some reason, everyone felt they should emotionally dump on you. Mm, Like, everyone used to mm. go to Amanda and be like, I'm going through this or whatever. And I remember you saying to me, what about me? And I mm. think that's so true to what you're saying because you do seem like the strong friend. You know when they say check on your strong friends? Yeah, Amanda definitely yeah. gives that energy. But she's also like a soft spirit inside. So that's an element that people, yeah. What about you? Surprise. That I'm an introvert. No. We all know that you're an introvert, don't we? Actually, yeah, people, I think people who don't know you yeah, closely, yeah, they don't know because of the singing yeah. and the ad libbing. Yeah, I'm very much an introvert. I love my. I can be alone all the time. I'm like, why do I have to go outside? Like, why do I? I don't like people. I think I've already said it twice already. <laughs> but like, yeah, that most people are like, there's no way. And I'm like, I learned to be a functioning member of society and have social skills. But that uh, was been. For me, it's always been no way with you. Yeah, I've never seen you as an introvert. I actually think you're. What's the middle one? Ambivert. Ambivert. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what yeah. you are. Yeah. Because yeah, you. I don't know. Or maybe I have a warped. Thing no, about I get what it, but I think I, I can understand why. Because what is an introvert? Like people throw that word around. A For lot. me, I define it as I get charged up by being alone, and people okay. being around people takes energy out of me, and a thousand percent does. That's why I'm like, how was I a teacher for so long? Because that's like the complete like energy drain. Mm. So yeah, definitely. All right. Now you have to answer this question about me. Yeah. What is something I can't live without? Ooh, music. <laughs> like, did I even Girl. have to think that far? That's actually, that was a bit fast. Like, yeah. sorry, Tom. <laughs> ah, like no, I'm joking. Um, this is obviously objects, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It will be music. And for you, something you can't live without. I would also say music mm. because mm. I think we really yeah. thrive on yeah. that wavelength. Yeah. In another together. life, I'm a singer. In another yeah. life, Celine Dion, watch out. Like, <laughs> of all people, Celine Dion. <laughs> I don't know. Like, or Brandy. I don't yeah, know who. Yeah. Like, Isha, I sound like such a millennial. Yeah. My reference points are Celine Dion. You need to be Brandy. saying Lil Uzi. What was? What are these? Baby. Lil Baby. Yeah. yeah. Doja Cat or Doja, someone. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, or Beyonce. But like, yeah, you know, mm. like, I think 
Like when I see like yeah Beyonce's movie, what if I'm like, man, that would have been me. That would have been me on that yeah, stage. It's true. It's true. It's just my voice didn't come. You have me. a voice. We're in quiet <laughs> together for the longest. So yeah, but not Beyonce levels. So. Yes, yeah, but who's on Beyonce? This yeah, is a true. different ball game. So true. Yeah. Okay. If you turned on the TV and saw me on a reality show, which show would it be, and what would I be doing on it? I think you'd be next in fashion. Oh. Claim it. <laughs> Claim it. Because you like fashion yes. like that. I didn't that. think of that one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It just came to me now. Because I was going to say The Real Housewives, because I know you like it. Mm. But for you actually to be active on a show, I think you would be next in fashion. Yeah. And I think you would be a stylist or a judge mm. on there. I don't know if you're really a like designer, designer in terms of yeah, the sewing. No. But I think you'd have a lot of opinion please. about like how people put things together or helping people put things together. So like next Next in fashion or project runway, those well, like lives. fashion police. Yes, I can see cool. you on fashion police. That's gonna be my answer for you. People would think like I think no, like just or like or like a pop culture critique yeah, yeah, kind sure. of show for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if there is one, is there one? Uh, Buzzfeed is what Buzz? What's Buzzfeed? What pop E pop? It used to be on E. Oh yeah, yeah. Some pop something. You see, you know them already. Yeah. So that's what I would picture. You. I cannot or see people, you on a reality show. Yeah, no, like, I don't have time for that. Yeah, people dealing with people. My my little note about reality shows is that like life has enough drama. You don't need to be creating like manufacturing for TV. Like relax. Yeah, yeah definitely. I don't know, like. I just can't see you arguing and going into all yeah. the like reality show is good when people are arguing because yes. that's why we don't watch it for happy days <laughs> <That's> like <true. laughs> we watch it for you know the table the drama. flipping the no drama I just mama. can't see you yeah that. I think that will drain your energy for sure I'll just be so. like actually I don't need this and leave and I don't think that makes for good TV I'm just saying the producer will be like uh, okay <laughs> this is not what we signed you up for okay get in mode. All right. My quest- next question for you is, if you had never met me before, what would your first impression of me be after spending 30 minutes together? It would be totally wrong. But okay. would, my first impression would be like, she's loud. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd think, oh my gosh, she's loud. She's super like, you are super confident, but you know that super confident where it's like... Yeah. She's yeah, like you know, run the room, read yeah. The, like yeah. 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 My mom. So when you say like, interested, yes, I would be like, it's a lie. So that's why I think people will be like, what? Yeah, it's true. Because I think your first impression is the utter opposite of yeah. what you think really of am. yourself as. Yeah, I think maybe it's also a bit of projection or self preservation. Mm. You're kind of like I put this mask on so people don't try to get. Dig deep. So you go there first before they Yeah. 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 That's yeah, why I think sure. you would strike up a conversation with a stranger. Sorry, I'm not letting that one go. <sighs> Clearly. I'm like <laughs> But you're more into it. Like you'll but be like chilling think... somewhere and just be like, so where are you from? Like when yeah, you're on holiday, yeah, you're like, oh yeah, true. so where are you traveling okay. from? But I think you know what? I actually think that's such an Australian thing. Okay, maybe. Because mm. Aussies love a good like yarn or little yeah. chit chat. Yeah. Like more so than like even just joking around. Yeah. And like greet each other. Like, even people walking past in the street, people be like, oh, morning. I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah, morning. Yeah. You know, whereas like when you go to London or New York, people will be like, morning, why are you talking to why me? Why are you talking to me? Leave me alone. So I think that's like an Aussie culture thing. Well, that's, that's true. my take on it anyway. I would definitely think you're like social butterfly, like friends with everyone, which you kind of are. Like you're yeah. friendly with it. Amanda, for those who don't know, Amanda is like liked by many and all. Like you just have but that. But known by few. <laughs> <laughs> but that could be true. Could be. But like, I think, yeah. Whereas for me, I'm just like, I don't have to. Now I sound like a mean person. I'm not mean. You're I'm not just, mean. But like, just, yeah, you, you, you give room and space for people in a yeah. very like open way. Like you're not afraid to talk to people like. You give people second chances. I'm very... Yeah, yeah we need to work on that. that second chances thing with yeah, you. Yeah, I'm very much People like, can make mistakes. But having said that, I also would let people walk... It's the Libra in me walking over. I'd be like, eh, I yeah. can't be then. I can be forgiving, the but then I... Once I cut off, I'm just like, bruh, ain't, no, ain't nobody got time for this. <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. What's your pet peeve then when it comes to people? Who? My pet peeve is people who think they're better than others. Just like moving with that energy. Mm. I really dislike that because I'm like, you don't know someone's story. Yeah. A lot of where we are in life is also like lack of the draw sometimes. Like you don't choose where you're born. You don't choose how you look. You don't choose. And of course we learn and develop over time. But like 
don't think you're better than someone just because, I don't know, superficial things. It really frustrates me. Like, it irks me, grinds my titties, I always say. <laughs> really hate it. But yeah, what about you? What's a... I think it's the same, but more like maybe the obnoxious version. Mm. Or people who are poor listeners. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like, cool. you're talking to someone and they're like, oh, yeah, then then I'm like, uh, okay, I yeah. guess I don't get a chance to say anything. And there's a difference between someone who's loud and vivacious. Yeah. But the convo is like Blowing, bouncing. Yeah, yeah. Whereas someone who's just like blatantly not even listening, listening. to you. And like, then I'm just like, why are we, why are you why even, are you even trying? With yeah. Me? I'm with you. And then they don't realize it as well. Self-awareness yeah. is a thing. Yeah. It's crucial. Like, I think we all have our flaws, but please crucial. can we know about them? And some EQ. Yeah. Get some emotional intelligence. Go buy it somewhere and rent it. I don't know. Yes. Try, try something. There's nothing worse than telling someone something that's so them and they have no idea. And uh-huh. then they look at you like, no, I'm not like that. Everyone in the room is like, oh, yes, you are. Yes. yes you know, yes. like at least, no, okay, I can be like this. I don't, I don't intend to. But don't you think it's because it's hard for us to accept the not so great sides yeah, of, of us? Course. So then yeah. we just ignore. Celebrated. And I think only in adulthood in the last few years have I really come to be like, it's okay to have the ugly side of yeah. you and embrace that. I yeah. really struggle. Perfectionist. We've talked yeah. about this like a million times. Yeah, you're so, right. Yeah. What's something we've gone through together that's hilarious now, even though it was not funny when it happened? Oh, there's so much. Yes, this is a lot. Relationship guys. Relationships. Ooh, Lord Jesus. There's so we've much. We've come a long way. Yeah. We've come a long way. All of it way. is now hilarious. It's yeah. so stupid. Oh my gosh, I have a story. Yes. When it was our leavers dance. <laughs> and then so sorry I have to laugh you have gone way back like girl I can't help it it's the first one that like just wow. popped in my head Levers. okay Levers. that's so circa 2000 2006 six. 2006 wow so I think some just, people listening to this podcast weren't even born Rumbi. don't say that okay don't yeah, say that go. but I remember so my date flaked on me I had a date mm. set up I was like happy with my date and then my date flaked on me and then last minute uh, replacement Replacement through someone in, in, We were in class with And so this person Ended up being <laughs> Super clingy boy. And just uh, Annoying yeah. And it takes a lot To annoy me Does it? But like I yeah. felt <laughs> At that time it, t- it took a lot To annoy me And he was super clingy And it was mm. so frustrating And I started running away <laughs> This guy the whole night, yeah, and then I'm like, go to Amanda, and I'm like, and I'm like oh gosh! I remember we took photos, yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. wanted to be in the photos, and like, this like, is just us friends. Yeah, like, I'll like really, be, I've never been so rude. To yeah, someone. like shut him down, like uh uh-uh. uh, and running, I ran away the whole yeah. night. Then I think something happened with his brother having to go to hospital. He was like, no, I'll stay here with you, and I was like, don't go no, to your don't. brother. Go, he needs please you. Please go. Please, please go. leave. Please don't stay. So that's a funny story. Like, but then I was so annoyed. Like. It was just annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Being set up by people before Yo. the age of the internet was not good. Because you're like, can't even say, can you show me his profile? Yeah. Can you show me his photo? You're just like, yeah. oh, hello. You have to tr- trust and quote unquote yeah. someone's reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, yeah, terrible. Yeah. yeah. If someone told you I'd gone viral on TikTok overnight, <laughs> what would you assume I was doing in the video? <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Yeah, well, it's going laughing. back to the the Vaseline one. Oh my gosh, Ruby, I'm off. not gonna beat up people. People not are gonna walk away. Up, but like, I think because we have a story where yeah. we were on holiday yeah, and yeah. we were traveling with some person, and then they were causing drama, yeah. and Amanda had had it. Like she was here, and she was like, "Stop doing the, like." And they know, cried. I remember yes. they were crying, and I was thinking, "You're not gonna yes. cry." And then she was like, "Hold your." friend your sister yeah, whatever yeah, like yeah. it was so like i'll never forget her being so mad and i was just like oh my gosh so like it's yeah, it's a, a viral report, moment it's a viral like moment yeah i think for you to be singing definitely i don't know why you're not singing rumbi maybe i'm always sending you like tick i'm i'm that friend yeah she said if me, someone's yeah. sending, doing a tiktok challenge i'm like rumbi rumbi yeah she sent it to me and i was like i'm why waiting for I your viral it? moment okay, and i'll just sure. be the friend sure like promoting the world and i'll be the friend From it. remember you're supposed to be my stylist yes oh okay okay Amanda's supposed to be my i don't want to work i just want to be the friend <laughs> i want to be the what's her name melissa is it mal oh to, yeah to rihanna's, rihanna's, yeah, yeah, yeah. rihanna's best i'll be a photographer something that i don't but have then to, you can like, be a stylist okay like, okay, okay she's okay. Photo- but that's work <laughs> okay fine you just come along for the ride <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly okay 
The next one for you is, what are my biggest green flags? Ooh, how generous you are with your time, with your energy, which is so funny because that's, maybe that's what's draining. You're giving too much away. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Yeah. maybe keep some for yourself. That's why I keep the group small, like the Mm. friends, because I feel like I want to be committed, Mm. like 100%. And then if there are too many people, it's hard for me to be like, no, you only get 10%. And you've always been able to see things from different angles. Oh, which I think when you, that's why you're saying the rolling Vaseline, I'm like, Ish. okay, if I'm going to be that friend, then I can't have, I need you. Cause then you're going to be like, girl, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas there's some friends who are just like, okay, it was hot. We're going to be hot. There's some friends who it's cold now. We'll be cold, you know? Mm. Whereas I think you'd be like, okay, but did you look at it from the, different which can be very confronting. Yeah. Because obviously if you're sensitive about something, someone says, have you thought you're like, no, just look at it from my angle, please. Yeah, that's true. You know, but that's you're true. like. No, did you consider this? Yeah. And I think that's a valuable, like, thing for people to have in a social circle. Thank you. I'll take that. Chill. Mm. Uh, For me, your green flags, I think you're just, like, consistently there. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And non-judgmental. I think I judge myself first and then I'll tell Amanda something and think she's going to judge me. She's like, why the hell? Like, no, there's no way I'll do. You're very supportive in that and you care about the person's well-being. So it's like, I'm here for you as long as you can get. Because someone may be like, yes, you must get your ish together. I don't care. But like, you're patient in that way. Mm -hmm. Um, I love that about you. And I love that. I guess the whole premise of this podcast, right? Is like you can we can delve together and be like, what about this? And it's like, oh, what about this? And it's okay to have differing perspectives on things. Yeah. You know, yeah. even if you're a good friend. And I think that's very important because you can't be, as we say, an echo cham- chamber yeah, all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you're just loving and kind and just you really thoughtful, very thoughtful about others, thoughtful about when whether it's gifts or but you really think about a person first and try to be there for them and make them happy in a way that they can receive which is because sometimes you do I, sometimes you gift what you would like to get yeah. like I had uh, I was taking a, I'll a, give you this handbag girl I was, when I, yeah, really want to I was taking a course and this um, <laughs> uh, classmate was like oh his friend gifted him a Star Wars t-shirt and people were like oh do you like Star Wars like no <laughs> my friend my friend is the one who loves Star Wars and he was like here's a t-shirt you know <laughs> so people can do that but you're very considerate of what the I think there's person. Libra energy do you, have, yeah. do you have to spend time also with Libras we're very like balanced really yeah and I even think okay the most famous one I can think of is Kim Okay, please. Oh, I don't know why I'm using as a reference really? point, but I am. But like, yeah, I think she also has that in, in within yeah, the family. Yeah. Strong, stoic when she's actually quite sensitive. Yes, that's you know true. the one who's thoughtful, the one yeah. who yeah yeah yeah. It's a Libra. Sorry, I don't I'm know much about into these signs. My signs. I, I, you're I, Leo, yes. which is why I don't know why you think you're an introvert as a Leo. Do you know I get shy being called a Leo because we don't have a great reputation. You're not a Leo fair, in my mind. Fair, Your energy is not like But Leo people tell energy. me like, yeah, but you like attention and all that. You see, so that's why I think the first impression question yeah. is like, yeah. that's the I way need you to come learn, across. Because there's the, there's the, then there's the moon side. What's the, the earth? What's oh, yeah, these? the signs. So like you have different, yeah, 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 you yeah, have yeah, different yeah, yeah. elements. So I need to find out what the other thing is. Yeah, maybe that's really what's strong. balancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Balances me out if someone it. told you I was arrested, please do not bring up the Vaseline <laughs> without giving any indi- additional explanation. What's the first assumption you'd make about it and why? Uh, they got the wrong person? Oh, girl, thank you. You're a true friend. Because <laughs> I was like, I was going to say, then I'm like, actually, I'll be like, why? No. no. Why? Never, it's not that deep. Yeah. Like, we're rested, girl. I'm, no. not, I'm too cute for a month. <laughs> oh, like, she said I'd be like. <laughs> and also, Amanda's very, like, logical. She's yeah. like, I've got a kid. I need to get, like, I yeah, support family. No. I have, like, there's no time to be it's missing. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. Yeah. Unless. It's false accusation. It's yeah. Bothering. But the funny thing is also being Zimbabwean. Can you imagine yes. not saying I'm in jail? Yeah. Woo! People are like, what were you doing? <laughs> and for you, we're on a road trip and you hand me the aux cable. Mm. What song or artist do I put on first? Beyonce. Uh, Anything Beyonce. Firstly, guys, on my Spotify rap, I was told that I'm in the 1% of Beyonce. I'm like, how sway? Okay, I like Beanie, but not like Dirt. <laughs> oh, you clearly do. <laughs> but I'm not like Dirt. I'm not a bee. I really say I'm not a beehiver. I don't mm, think. I it. think I'm a secret beehiver. 
I think so. I'm but I definitely don't... a beehive. I'm, I'm, I'll put it out there. I'm, I'm not a, a certified da- beehive. In my head, I'm like, secret. I'm more of a Solange girl mm. as much as she's not in your face like that. But do you think you like Solange's vibe? Yeah, her vibe. Yeah, definitely. Or maybe Beyonce is more accessible, I feel, than Solange. Yes. But so she's there already. I like Solange's songwriting. I like how she layers you know, in her music, similar to, because Brandy's one of my favorite artists, but mm-hmm. like when she does her harmonies, mm-hmm. like she really, and it's not so much about the power, it's yeah. about the intricacies. Yeah. But on a day-to-day, you, you know, I'll play Beyonce, to be fair. Yeah. So. I think Beyonce gets people, gets people hype, yeah. whichever way. Yeah, yeah. So like Renaissance at the moment is just yeah. like, it fits That's the true. moment, fits That's the, true. whereas Solange is always a constant, but maybe more in the background. Yeah. Definitely. Like I'm cleaning, I'll put Solange yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going out, I'll put Beyonce. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But I also don't like pitting them against each other. That's what yeah, they're completely just... different leagues of life. Yeah, totally. And also, I think Beyonce, we grew up with her. Like, yeah, that's true. You know, Destiny's Child, we were growing up. She was that true. that girl. She's that's... like a big sis energy. Definitely. I think you would. If it's not Beyonce, I think you'd do like a burner. Yeah. Some Afrobeat. He's been my top artist the last four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually quite embarrassing. I love his Can BD. Raps just be giving me props for that? <laughs> Berna? Uh, I'm my guy. <laughs> <laughs> A fan? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I love his BDE. Like, yeah. he just gives yeah. you like that... Don't come correct. We need me to see come him correct, live. otherwise I will miss yeah. you. Yeah, he will tell you. Now he's the one talking yeah. to your face. Like, what are you saying? Yeah, for what sure. Are you doing? I watched this. Like, you know, these magazines have these YouTube um, interviews, and he had to try different food or whatever. Mm, mm. He literally was just like, "I'm not trying that." Like, yeah, he literally like, was like, he gives that, and he's like, "Nope, not doing that." Yeah, 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 totally. yeah. He's sure of himself. Definitely, mm, very sure. Mm. Mm. So I asked you about getting arrested. Oh. Are we doing? Where are we, girl? Uh, we're finished. Oh, that's nice. the end of it. Oh, short. I need sleep. to do one more icebreaker. Sorry. Ah, okay, okay. I'm hoping for one certain one. Clearly, yeah. I my. <laughs> so why don't just you just ask? Who's most likely to write a book? Got the one I wanted. So I must answer. Mm. I think I would. I don't know. Mm. Do you think that's correct? Yes. I have a lot. Maybe loves say. journaling, yeah. and you should. Yeah. I want to. I, <laughs> I had this pipe dream of doing it whilst I was on maternity leave. Okay. Any mother out there must be laughing at that now because... (laughs) You're smoking something. When was I going to be in the middle of pumping and breastfeeding and doing all of that, writing a book? But I have that on my heart as well that I want to write. What would you write about? Do you know? I think an... It will be set as an autobiography, but it's not. So it'll be a story, but very heavily inspired by my life. Okay. You know, I think having like my mom... You know, terminally ill at a young age, yeah. it just gives you that. Like, can I just say that's a wild thing for like when I think about it, I'm just like, girl, yeah, hats off to you. Yeah, I think grief yeah. in itself is its mm. own big. So I think I want a story in and around that, yeah. and also the craziness of Zimbabwe. Like, mm. literally, if you think about the things that we faced, like people talk about COVID, like, oh my God, you know, so much happened in two, three years. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, try coming from Zimbabwe. <laughs> We grew up thinking our country was grew fine. Up traumatized. Then That's all of a sudden we're like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, now we have to leave to Yeah. And then now like family dynamics are all warped because we live away from family. Like even Christmas, you coming over is such a huge thing. Otherwise yeah. it's just gonna be Marcel Jerome and I having our food and calling it a yeah. day. Like it's not a a big thing. And I think people assume these things, like you're close to family, you but Zimbabwe is just made that sh- like shattered yeah. that whole idea and i think we grew up fast because of mm. zimbabwe i don't know like prematurely i mean knowing about economy and stuff yes. like at a young age yeah like, or not being able to afford yeah i always laugh remember when in history we learned about you know the second world war and mm. also germany hyperinflation and how they used to use wheelbarrows yeah, to go yeah. buy bread and we're like ho 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 meanwhile meanwhile that was like, reaching around <laughs> the corner for us <laughs> And I also find it quite sad that every term, remember our school would give yes. us a letter? Yes. And we'd obviously open it. Yeah. The sorry, parents. Uh, and it would like have our fees are increasing. For the next and then it would all be like saying, bye, maybe I won't be here next yeah, term. Because you don't know if your parents could your afford. Your parents could afford. It's real. It was very real. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's true. And the next term we'll be there. Yeah. Thank you, parents. Thank you, but, yeah. Thank you, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well... Mm. I enjoyed this episode. This was a nice, like, warm up. It's yeah. so surreal. It was so, so beautiful having you here. I can't, I'm pinching you. myself all the time. It hasn't registered for me, to be honest. Like, mm. I'm still like, what? Um, but so grateful to be here. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Amanda's welcomed us with such warm, open arms and just grateful that we can do this, you yes, know? Yes, in the studio. This is like, uh, definitely a moment yeah. we'll share with our kids, bring yeah. it back to that yes, other question. So, definitely. For sure. Anyway, so thanks for listening and we look forward to catching on our next episode. Bye, guys. Toodles. Oh, 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 oh,